Here we will discuss about tangential and radial acceleration and that we can say that when body moving on a curved path that is moving on a curved path not is along the straight line or in a circular path rather it's moving in a curved path then uh, how the uh, acceleration changes over the interval of the time so words are the radial and tangential acceleration when body is moving along the curved path okay now let's suppose this one is the path and path is like this one this one is the curved path or if the particle is moving and now let's suppose that particle is first instant of the time particle is here at this point then it has direction of radial acceleration will be like here if we draw here like an imaginary circle at this point then this will be the center of this circle and so the radial acceleration will be in this direction and there is always a tangential acceleration which is tangent to the path so this acceleration will be in this direction so the overall i can draw acceleration vector like this one okay now if particle travel from here and let's suppose this comes at this point over after some interval of time then the radial acceleration now will be in this direction so here again i can draw a imaginary circle which passing through this point so again the direction of radial acceleration will be towards the center and tangential part of acceleration now will be like this one and i can draw overall acceleration vector like this one now uh, the particle is still traveling along the core path and now let's suppose this comes here after some interval of time now at this point the radial part of acceleration will be here and now the tangential part of acceleration will be along these lines and this one is overall acceleration and so i can draw it like this one so we can say that if particle is moving along the curved path where here you can see that velocity changes both in direction and its magnitude so magnitude of the velocity and its direction both are changing so when we can say that when body uh, or particle here i can say that when the particle is moving over a curved path over a curved path then what happened to the velocity so velocity will change both in magnitude and direction so if particle is here then its velocity will be in this direction if particle which is here its velocity will be in this direction so uh, velocity is also changing at every instant of the time and uh, so as its velocity will be here it reaches here velocity will be here again it reach here its velocity will be like this one and then along this direction so velocity is changing at every instant of the time and so i can say that is changing not only its magnitude but it also changing its direction while it moving over a curved path so as the velocity vector is always tangent to the path now the direction what will be the acceleration as we know that whenever the velocity changes it either in magnitude or in direction it produces acceleration now 
The direction of acceleration also changes at every instant of the time. Because the velocity is changing its direction at every instant of the time, uh, changing its magnitude and direction. So, alternatively, acceleration uh, which produced due to the change in the velocity um, and its magnitude due to the change in the uh, direction of the body, change in the direction of the body or due to the change in the velocity of the body. So, we can say that acceleration is a uh, direction of acceleration also changes at every instant of the time. So, we can here subdivide the acceleration into the two components while moving along the curve path. So, here you can see that one of the component is the radial component and another one is the, the component is called as a tangential component of the acceleration. So, I can write acceleration of the body while moving in a curved path. It has one component is called as the tangential component. Tangential component of acceleration. And I can represent it by AD. And other one is the radial component of acceleration radial component of acceleration which can be represented by AR. So now the total acceleration, acceleration vector can be written as, I can write it as the sum of acceleration, sum of the radial component and tangential component. So it is the sum of radial and tangential component. Now uh, what about the tangential component here the tangential how the tangential acceleration is the produced tangential acceleration causes the change in the speed of the particle it causes change in the speed of the particle so it is due to the speed change in the speed of the particle uh, so, the acceleration produced due to the change in speed is tangential acceleration and its magnitude is parallel to the instantaneous velocity and I can write the tangential acceleration AT, it will be equal to due to the change in the speed of the particle over the interval of the time. So, it tells us that how velocity is changing at uh, our house uh, at every instant of the time how the speed of the body is changing at every instant of the time while it moves along the core path so this one is the tangential acceleration and its, its direction is always i can say that its direction is always tangent to the path it will be like this one so, it will be always in the direction of velocity. As we know that velocity component is always tangent to the path uh, while moving over the curve path. So, tangential acceleration is always uh, tangent to the path. So, tangential component of acceleration is because of the change in the speed of the particle and its magnitude is dv divided by dt. Okay, now uh, what about the radial acceleration? Now what about the radial component of the acceleration? So here, uh, radial component of acceleration. Radial component of acceleration which can be represented by AR while body is moving along a curve path. When it is moving along the curve path, the radial acceleration arises. It's, what is the reason of radial acceleration? Is due to the change in the direction of the velocity. Change in the direction of velocity. As we have seen that the tangential component is due to the change in the magnitude of the velocity while the radial component is always 
due to the change in the direction of the velocity and its magnitude a r is always equal to v square over r so v here represents the velocity vector and r represents the path so as a r and tangential component and radial component a t and a r radial component tangential component both are mutually perpendicular to each other both are mutually perpendicular to each other while these are the perpendicular to each other so we can write their equation the acceleration is total acceleration will be the combination of under root a square r radial component plus a square t which is the tangential component okay now we have two different situation rather body is moving in a non uniform circular motion or it is moving in a uniform circular motion uh, okay now let's suppose that if the body is moving in a non uniform circular motion in a non uniform circular motion if the motion is non uniform circular motion then what happened to the radial part of acceleration and to the tangential part of the acceleration radial part of acceleration it is as we know that always directed towards the center of the circle it is always directed towards the center of the circle so it's always directed towards the center and a r as we know that the formula for radial component of acceleration is a r is equal to v square over r so it means that here the r and v has inverse relation with each other r is the path of the uh, path of the uh, radius of the path uh, so if situation is like this one if this is the circular path now here the radial component has this one is the radius and radial component will be in this direction so if particle is here this will be the radius so there will be the we can here consider the lie circle so here i can also consider an imaginary circle but if the particle is here if particle is here then radial component will be here it has a small radius at this point so whenever the radius is the small then it will body will feel a large radial acceleration when the at this point when radius is large when radius radius is larger then particle will experience or body will experience a small radial acceleration because the radial acceleration has inverse relation with the radius or radius of the path okay now uh, what happened to the tangential part of the acceleration while Uh, moving in a non-uniform circular motion, so the tangential part of the acceleration, so it will be in the same direction as velocity. So it will be, it has the same direction as velocity. If velocity is increasing, v is increasing, and it has the opposite direction. opposite in direction opposite in their direction of velocity when velocity is decreasing now the next situation is if the body is in moving in a uniform circular motion okay, now let's suppose if the body is moving in a uniform circular motion first case was of the non uniform circular motion now it is of the uniform circular motion if it is the uniform circular motion then here the tangential component of acceleration will be equal to 0 now why it is equal to 0 as in the uniform circular motion the body move or particle move with a constant speed 
move with the constant speed when the speed is the constant so it's not changing its magnitude then the tangential component of acceleration will be equal to zero because the tangential component of acceleration changes when body move with with the non uniform speed or when it is changing its magnitude so uh, when speed changes its magnitude it means that its velocity is changing at every instant of time so in that case we have the tangential component of the acceleration so here the if there is the case of the uniform circular motion so it means that body is moving with the constant speed when it is moving in the constant speed so there will be the no tangential component of the acceleration okay so it is zero because v is the constant so we can say that it is zero because v speed v is the constant it is moving at constant speed not changing its magnitude okay um now let's suppose if direction of the v is not changing no if direction is also not changing while body is moving direction is not changing when direction is not changing then it means that the motion of body will be the one dimensional motion so it will be the one dimensional motion one dimensional motion here means that if the direction of the velocity is not uh, changing if its speed is the constant then it means that body is moving along the straight path and the motion is one dimensional motion so in that case a r will be equal to 0 radial component will be equal to 0 because now there is the no radius so there will be the no radial component when body is moving in a straight line or when it is moving in one dimensional exhibiting the one dimensional motion so in that case the radial component of acceleration will be zero but in this case the tangential component may or may not be equal to zero it can be may or may not be equal to zero why it is may or may not be equal to zero because if body is moving in a straight line in one dimension although the radial component is zero because there is no radius but uh, body can change its speed can change the magnitude of its uh, speed that is velocity can be the change uh, while moving in a one dimension or in a straight line so we can say that tangential component may or may not change during the one dimensional motion so it depends on the magnitude of speed why either it is changing or or either it is the constant thanks for watching for more videos please subscribe our channel